Tri-State's most accurate forecast. This is My News at 11. Good evening. Clyde and Carol are off tonight. We begin with breaking news. A Milford woman is facing charges after a deadly hit-and-run accident in Claremont County. Officers arrested the driver in Brown County today. Angela Reese is charged with leaving the scene of an accident and driving under suspension. Investigators say she hit James Trammell, who was riding his bike last night in front of Bethel Tate High School on State Route 125. He died at the scene. Police say Reese took off after that crash. She's now in the Claremont County Jail. A smoldering cigarette is likely the cause of a fire that left 22 families without a home tonight. Yeah, the large apartment fire in Independence is believed to have started on some deck furniture outside. Jay Warren covering Northern Kentucky News Now, live with the latest on the investigation. Jay? Well, that's right, Brendan. The fire started on what used to be that second floor deck that you can see right over my shoulder. Cigarette was smoldering on a wicker chair. Now, fire investigators are not sure whether that cigarette came from the occupant or the people above because both uh, units smoke, so they may never know whose cigarette it was. But in the meantime, we spoke to a young family who is now forced to start over. The Stevens family is one of 22 families who will be sleeping somewhere else tonight. Tracy was at home with her infant son Daniel when the fire started. I was sleeping in my bedroom with the baby and we're right next to the one that was on fire. So, you know, they come beating on the doors. I didn't smell nothing. So, you know, it was devastating. By the time she got out, the fire was already spreading quickly. I count myself extremely lucky. Yeah, because I was sleeping in there five minutes before they could be beating on my door. I'm very lucky. Her husband, Mark, was at work. I worked two minutes up the road. She called me, and by the time I got down here, the whole place was lit up. Worry about that. Everybody got out of the house. That's the first thing I was worried about. I mean, material things you can always replace. Family, you can't. Kenton County fire investigators believe a smoldering cigarette ignited the fire on a wicker chair. No, it would have been outside on the, on the balcony, probably, because the, uh, the patterns and everything, it looks like it started outside on a balcony. Chief Rick Messingslager believes the structure is close to a total loss. They may salvage some on this uh, east side, but I, I, I would pretty much guess they'd take it all down. And as this building will likely come down, the Stevens family will begin tomorrow building back up. I, I think I'm still in shock, and I think it'll hit me later. Yeah. But I'm still in shock. And my kids are good, and we're good, and what's important. we'll be all right. Yeah. Well, the property manager is out here tonight to make sure that nobody goes back inside or nobody new goes looking for something to steal. Also, the fire department is going to come back out here in the middle of the night just to check on things. And in the meantime, there are some vacant units here at this apartment complex that some people, based on seniority, will get to move in. Otherwise, there's a lot of people looking for someplace new tonight. Brendan. Reporter Jay Warren live on the scene in Independence tonight. Thanks. Firefighters are.